Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are back again with another Ninjago ranking video. This time we are taking a look at the top 10, nope, top 5 worst new characters in Ninjago Dragons Rising. Now, I previously did a video tackling the top 10 best characters from Dragons Rising, at least according to my own opinion, and I will link that down below in the description. This time, like I said, we are talking about the worst new characters first introduced in the Dragons Rising series. The reason why we are not doing top 10 though is because Dragons Rising as a series has a lot of great characters and when looking through all of the new characters in preparation for this video, I could not find 10 that I did not like but I did find five, so that's exactly what we are doing for today's upload. The same rules do apply though as my previous video, this is just my own opinion, you do not have to agree with my list, and you probably will not agree with my list, but after the video is over, feel free to give me your list down below in the comment section of the top five worst characters according to your opinion, or if you wanted to go to top 10, you definitely could. Now without further ado, let's discuss my top five least favorite characters from Ninjago Dragons Rising. Kicking off our list in the number five spot, we have Raptin. Now this one might be kind of a controversial decision because I know that Raptin is definitely beloved by a lot of Ninjago fans out there. I almost wonder though if the love and respect Raptin gets is just pure irony or if people are actually being serious. I personally think that Raptin is funny sometimes, but he can be too much frequently. I have been pretty happy that he has not been in Dragon's Rising Season 2 because to be honest, I don't really miss him from season one. Like I said, some of his bits and some of his jokes were funny, but then after they get repeated for the 10th time, they start to be less funny, if you know what I'm saying. His design is cool though. I do like Raptin's design with his haircut and his sharp teeth. I also like that visor that he wears, and I do like how he was eventually redeemed, more or less, following Dragon's Rising Season 1. Do I think Raptin is an amazing character? Not really, and he is far from the worst offender in the Dragon's Rising catalog, that's for sure. Coming in in the number 4 spot, we have the Bone King, as seen in Dragon's Rising Season 1. Now, the Bone King, I suppose, technically is not a Dragon's Rising character, since he first debuted in Ninjago Core, but of course he never made it into the show until Ninjago Dragons Rising, so I guess he counts. Now, my issue with the Bone King, again, is not his design, because that design is incredible. I just don't like how disappointing his character ended up being. The Bone King would have worked as a main series villain, not just a one-off joke villain. I was really disappointed by how Ninjago Dragons Rising treated not only the Bone King, but also the Green Bone Warriors also introduced in Ninjago core. Again, these guys, in my opinion, had the potential to be main series villains. They could have easily have been the main villains of season one, or maybe even a smaller villainous force in comparison to Imperium that the ninja would fight occasionally. They did, for a little bit, just in one or two episodes at most, and it wasn't the full team, it was just Kai and Wildfire fighting them. The Bone King, arguably being the only one of the Green Bone Warriors to have a personality or a sense of individuality, he definitely encapsulates that disappointment the most for me. He could have been so much more, but he was not. In third place, we have Labo. Labo is another character that I feel like Ninjago fans like ironically because my goodness is Labo annoying. I do not like his character at all. Again, he was funny maybe the first time, but then he kept on appearing and after you reuse the same joke over and over again, doesn't really get funnier. I, I, I gotta be honest there. His design is interesting, I guess. I do like his spiky rage form that we saw in the Elemental Mechs shorts. That was when Labo's character was probably at his most interesting. As it stands, Labo is just kind of one of those one-off characters that should have been a one-off character. While somebody like the Bone King deserved a lot more, Labo deserves a lot less in my opinion. I just don't like his character. I find him to be extremely insufferable and annoying. Not for me. In the number two spot on this countdown, we have Mr. Frohickey. Again, might be a controversial choice, but I really don't like Mr. Frohickey. He has a lot of the same problems that a lot of these other annoying side characters have. They're funny the first time, they're interesting the first time we see them, but then they keep appearing, and after a while you start to get sick of them. Or at least I did with Mr. Frohickey. And it's very weird because it seems like Mr. Frohickey will be a mainstay on the ninja team now. Not necessarily being a ninja, 
definitely not, but he's the monastery keeper now, which means he's always going to be there and he's always going to be annoying in my opinion. I do like his design though. Again, I think there's a lot of mystery surrounding his character as well, considering, you know, he is some type of humanoid animal. Does he come from the wildness? Is he related to Chima in some way? Only time will tell, but I feel like the mystery surrounding his character is far more intriguing than the character itself. I am not a Mr. Frohickey fan, maybe ironically every now and then, but definitely not seriously. Now, before we get to my number one pick for this list, I suppose I should probably give some honorable mentions, or in this case, some dishonorable mentions. The only other characters that I'm not really fond of are Sora's parents, and not only because they are horrible human beings and horrible parents, but they hardly have characters, in my opinion. And if I were to put them on the list, this list would just be a top six. That doesn't make any sense. Top five is cleaner. So with no other dishonorable mentions to speak of, let's talk about my number one pick for the worst new character introduced in Dragon's Rising, that of course being Dorama. I do not like Dorama at all. I know for some people it might be like, well yeah, obviously why would you like Dorama? His character is designed to be insufferable. That's great, and I find him insufferable. So I guess they succeeded in making a horrible character. He's obnoxious, he's annoying, he's not a good villain either in my opinion, and every single time he shows up, especially in Dragon's Rising Season 2, the entire season comes to a screeching halt. One of the only things that I did not like from Season 2 was Dorama, and if he was not taking up an entire episode with his weird little subplot, I feel like Season 2 would end up being one of the best seasons ever, if not the best season. Of course, we haven't seen Part 2 for Season 2 yet, so things are, of course, subject to change right now, but Dorama is definitely not making the situation better for Season Season two. At least his design is pretty fun. I like the purple top hat. I like some of his disguises, if you will. But as a character, as a serious character, I don't take him seriously. Even if that's the point, it doesn't make him a good character because he's meant to be insufferable. If he's meant to be insufferable and I find him insufferable, I am going to find him insufferable. And he will be one of my least favorite characters. And that's why Dorama takes the number one spot on this countdown. Dorama was the one that I knew would be first immediately. None of these other characters even come close to being as terrible as Dorama is, at least in my opinion. With that being said though guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Those have been my top five least favorite characters from Ninjago Dragons Rising specifically, and now it's your turn. Leave all of your thoughts down below. What are some of your least favorite characters from Dragons Rising? Or if you wanted to, I guess, critique my list, by all means feel free, but be sure to leave your own list down below in the comment section. I'm very curious to see what characters are kind of despised by the Ninjago community, at least in terms of Dragons Rising original characters. Once again, I will be linking my top 10 best Dragons Rising characters down below. Check out that list if you have not done so already, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.